What's up guys? Welcome back to DTV Fit. DTV Matt here with you. And on today's episode, we got a nice full body dynamic warm up for you. You can do this at any time of the day, every day, if you'd like. You can do this on your upper body workout days, your lower body workout days. And it's especially nice too, after a long day, if you're sitting all day at the desk, typing away, and you gotta get up and move around. Um, this is a nice dynamic matrix, so meaning that one thing flows right into the other, one, one stretch flows right into the other, as you'll see. And um, we'll get it going. So first things first is we got our alternating quad stretch here with a reach. So to stretch your left, you're just grabbing your left foot with your left hand. You're gonna lean forward, reach out with your right hand, all right? And then, as I said, it's alternating. So take a step, reach back with your right hand, grab the right foot, reach forward with your left hand, and boom, all right? And then we're gonna alternate. So flip around, right here, reach. So it would look like this. All right, so you're gonna do 10 on each, 10 left, 10 right, and you're gonna hold the stretch for 10 seconds, all right? And then your quads will be feeling nice and, nice and stretched and ready to go. So from there, on your 10th uh, quad stretch with the reach, Again, it's a flow, so you're gonna go right into the next exercise, being inchworms, all right? So from here, we're gonna start here, all right? So we're getting our quads now. Lengthen them out from here. Walk out with your hands, and then you're gonna follow with your feet. Boom. And go as high as far as you can go, guys, all right, without, don't worry about necessarily getting all the way up to here, all right? If your feet can't get that close to your hands without breaking form, all good. Go as far as, you, as your hamstrings will allow you to go. All right, so you're walking out with your hands, follow up with your feet. If your hammies are tight, you can only get to here, all right, while keeping this form. If you're gonna go and kind of like start moving and wobbling, if you can only get to here or wherever, that's as far as you go, all right? Maintain that tension on the hamstrings. So you're gonna go up and down 10 times. All right, so you're here, out for one, in for one, that's one rep. And then out, maybe two. We're gonna go all the way up to 10, all right? So in your last one, you'll be here, all right? Then we're gonna go right into the 90-90, classic 90-90 hip stretch, so with a, a nice forward lean. All right, so we got our left leg in front, right leg in the back, you're gonna lean forward, hold this 10 seconds, then you're gonna come out, reach back, hold for five. What we're doing when we lean forward here like this, we're stretching the back of the hip of the leg that's forward. All right, so in this case, it'd be you're stretching the back of our, our hip on our left side, all right, hold 10 seconds. And when we reach out like this, what we're doing is getting a nice stretch on the hip, the anterior hip, the front of the hip, on the right side, the leg that's back. All right, so you do that, five each. So five down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 second count, reach back. Only holding for five on this right here. Cool, so then you switch. You're gonna do 10 on the left with, and then 10 with the right leg in front. So you're here. Boom. And it's 10 seconds on the forward lean. And then we got one, two, three, four, five. Cool, 10 on each side. 10 with the, your right leg in front of you and 10 with your left leg in front of you. Now from here, we're gonna go into our adductor rocks so again we're uh, we're sticking with the hip the groin region just getting that stretched out feeling feeling good uh, especially uh, on a lower body day or just to get your legs 
the, leg, the muscles in your lower half just nice and turned on and fresh. In this case, we work on our adductors, all right, so the inside portion of our, of our hip, of our groin, where a lot of tightness occurs for a lot of people. So right here, you're gonna put your leg out to the side, feet, toes pointed forward, all right, so not like out, kind of like that, but more pointed forward, hands down, and then I want you to tuck your core in, all right, you don't wanna have a, a loose core to have a arch in the, little, in the low back, we don't want that, so we're gonna Brace our core, and then from here, just a slight rock back and forth. All right, so again, targeting the inside of the hip, the adductor muscle group, loosening up the groin region, feeling pretty good. Make it nice and loose. Again, tight area for a lot of people who sit. Hip flexors get really tight, adductors as well, so this is kind of a nice way to open up the, the hips, the groin, the adductors. So we're gonna go 15 on the left, same thing on the right side, 15 on your right. Again, toe, toes pointed forward, and just doing 15 on each side. Cool. All right, so from there, I'm gonna stay in this position. We're gonna go thread the needle, all right? So I'm gonna come into downward dog position like this, and then thread the needle through and then come on out. So we're getting a nice stretch for the rotator cuff group. We're also getting some thoracic spine mobility when we come up and rotate up. So left hand goes through the opening right here. Hold for 10 seconds. Then come out, hold for five. Hold for 10 here, hold for five. And you're gonna do five reps on that side. And all we're gonna do is switch it up. So right hand, now it's gonna go through to the left side, hold for 10. Open up nice for five. Here for 10, here for five. Again, so. Rotator cuff muscles, getting a nice stretch on the thread. And then as we open up, nice thoracic spine uh, mobility. So we're gonna stick with thoracic spine now and go from our adduct from our um, thread the needle position to right here. So we're gonna do uh, the World's greatest stretch. Some people call it Spider-Man's, whatever, either way. So we're here, all right. Let's go to the side too. So we're here, and then you're gonna open up. If your left foot is in front, we're going left arm is the one that's opening up. So you open up to your left side here, hold for five. Here, open up. Four, five, hold for five. All right, 10 on each side. Then just gonna switch over to the right. Here. Boom. Cool. Just 10 on each side, five second holds down, and then when you open up. Stick it with thoracic spine, we're gonna come right here, half kneeling position, and we're just gonna rotate. Open the door, and close the door. All right, so we got T-spine mobility right here. Nice trunk rotation. Cool, just open them up. Back, so you do 10 reps on the left. All you're gonna do is switch it up, open up to the right. 10 on this side. Boom. Nice. All right, so from there, we're gonna hop on our back. All right, we're gonna get some 
shoulder mobility going with some floor presses, right? So we're here on our back. And what we're gonna do is have the back of our hands, the back of our shoulders in this 90 degree position, right? And remain in contact with the ground and you're gonna press out. As you press out, you breathe out, all right? So. Back down and then. Cool. So, floor press, great for external rotation of the shoulder, good shoulder mobility. All right. And uh, we're going to do 10 reps of those, five second breathe out when you press up. All right. And from there, we got our, it's called scapula push-ups, scap retraction, protraction, however you want to look at it. But what we're doing here is getting our rotator cuff and our scapula warmed up and ready to go. Um, great for if you're going to do overhead presses, chest presses, um, anything where you're kind of going to be using your shoulders and having your arms up overhead um, and just using your arms for your upper body stuff. So. We're just gonna hop over here. And it's not a push-up where we're gonna go flex and extend at our elbows. What we're doing is just here, and we're gonna just kind of collapse in like this, and then protract. So retraction right here for the shoulder blades. Warm up the scapula, and then this is protraction. And you can do 10 reps of those. And with that, that'll do for the DTV Fit full body dynamic warm up. Again, guys, uh, for upper body day, lower body day, if you're just getting out of bed or if you're feeling stiff from just sitting at the desk all day, do this any day, any time of the day, every day. Um, and yeah, and we'll be back with more fitness, nutrition, um, really everything you need to live a healthy uh, and well, well-lived lifestyle. Um, DTV Matt for DTV Fit, and we'll see you soon.